Hello, welcome then to um, Lake Cuthbert, which is at the the top end of the site uh, that we spoke about in the in the earlier shot. Um, up here is where the, the water runs down underneath the the soil through from Clayhorn, where we we cut all the um, land drains and filtered the water into what is a silt pit here. Water comes through here through this Fragmite reed, which is better known as Norfolk reed to everybody else and it filters through there and it comes out down here through this pipe into Lake Cuthbert. The um, water then filters again over the top of this lake in the middle where we've got reed beds on the island and um, we've got lots of birds nesting out there already. They're nice and secure away from the foxes and whatnot. And then the water again filters across the island and through another pipe that goes underneath this lake and comes out in Lake Daisy at the other side which is about a metre lower than this one. Um, <coughs> then eventually once it, it goes from Lake Daisy into the um, stock pond which is in the middle that acts as a reservoir and we've got a big four inch pump on that that at times when the water's a little bit low and it needs oxygenating as well we can pump it all the way back up here and the whole cycle can work again. So that's a little bit of how the, how the filtration system works. Again, Lake Cuthbert, we've got 30 pegs. Um, every peg's the same as Lake Daisy. They're all um, fishing on your top three kits, like five foot deep, at about eight or 10 meters. On the end of these little spits here between the pegs, we've got a fish refuge that we that we sat in the water the fish actually um, bred there last year they actually spawned on that last year and I believe they're doing that again right this moment as we speak so um, we're bringing on lots of small fish as well as the fish we've stocked so hopefully that, um, that maintains itself soon the, the reeds will all be up we've got lily pads in between each one of these pegs so Everyone will have a lily pad to, to fish out to. You'll have your, uh, your long pole line out for your, your skimmers and whatnot in the middle. Um, your, your tench and your perch and your rod will be down these reeds, down the edges. Of course, you've got your, your far bank swim as well for whatever wants to live there, probably the bigger chub. So um, I think that's about it on Lake Cuthbert, oh, apart from the... Um, apart from the camera in the middle and um, from there we'll be able to monitor the whole site, see what everybody's doing and of course we'll be able to um, show this live on the internet so if you've got a, a match that you can't make at least you'll be able to sit at home and watch your mates. So let's go down onto Lake Daisy and I'll give us tell us some more now.